What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using Life Orb Fake Pikachu. It's just Mimikyu. We got ourselves a Life Orb Mimikyu team for ranked regulation age. Now, when it comes to Mimikyu, this Pokemon is absolutely amazing. From its typing, to its design, to its signature ability, everything about this Pokemon is super dope. This Mimikyu is holding Life Orb, so it does a ridiculous amount of damage. Disguised as ability, it is a ghost and fairy type Pokemon with the ghost terror type, and then a great moveset of play rough, shadow call, shadow sneak, and protect. So you got big time stab moves, you got first turn priority, and you can really just get thriving with this Pokemon as it does so much damage. Now this team right here is pretty much a hard trick room team outside of Dragonite, but Dragonite can haze, which is really good in this format. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features Ursuline, Mousehold, Armrouge, and Indeedee. So we got the Indeedee Armrouge combo. Works very well. You can pop Trick Room, they go Expanding Force, all that good stuff. You got Ursuline to thrive out in that Trick Room as it's a very slow slash hard hitting Pokemon. And then you got Mousehold, who can work as a support Pokemon with Follow Me or do big time damage with Technician Population Bomb. Really, this team does it all. If you guys want to run it for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Life Orb Mimikyu. First match on its way, and we're going up against a T-Tar Garchomp team. Now, I showcased T-Tar Garchomp in yesterday's video, so I know what we're going up against. It's probably Sandvale, just like that, so RNG could get a little ugly here. But what I do like about this is I can potentially just pop Trick Room here, and I have complete terrain control. So they could end up leading T-Tar Garchomp. But I could actually make up for it with going into Armrouge and Indeedee, which could actually be pretty good for us. Do I want to lead that though? I could maybe just like lead Mimikyu. I actually like this. We got Rocky Helmet. We got Follow Me if we wanted to use it. Pop Trick Room. A lot of different options here. So I'm going to end up going into both of them. Got to bring Ursula in from Pop a Trick Room. And then I just like Mimikyu here. Like Mimikyu is going to be super effective just with Play Rough onto Murkrow. Meowskarada, T-Tart, Garchomp, and Annihilate. That's just with Play Rough. So Fairy, they're definitely weak too. I gotta bring Mimikyu in here. So we're gonna try to pop Trick Room turn one. I wonder if they're just gonna go in like Weather Squad. And if that's the case, we might just like Terrasalize Armrouge and maybe try to look to go for like an Aurora Spear because it would be four times super effective into that t tar slot, which could be really good for us. Maybe just dump it on it. Could be vested as well, so I like they have a lot of different options, but they're going to end up leading Titar and Miascarada. So Miascarada can Sucker Punch, which is scary. Actually, cannot. We have Train Up, which is huge. And I feel as maybe just like a Terra and Didi into Trick Room might be our best best bet here. I definitely want to go into Aura Spear. I definitely want to do that. I could just go Terra Grass. I could maybe just protect our armors here. No, you know what? We're going straight into Aura Spear. There's a chance that he goes for a dark move, but I'd rather get off Trick Room. I'd rather get off Trick Room than keep my armors alive. So I could have just protected armors, but I think this is our play though. I really do. So I'm going to end up Terrasalize, and they probably think it's armors, but in reality, it's in DD. We're trying to get off this Trick Room, baby. I know I have a few faster Pokemon, but Ursuline really thrives out in Trick Room, so I really want it. I really want Trick Room here. So I'm Terrasalize and Indeedee. Knockoff is going to fly. It's going to change its typing, and it is going into the Indeedee slot, so good. Wow, a lot of damage. That's a, that's, that's, a, that's a ton of damage. That's a ton of damage. Take it off my Rocky Helmet. Roar Spear, can you just KO? You do, beautiful. So perfect turn, turn one for us. We get a crit. I wonder if that was KOing without the crit. I'm not sure, but it's four times super effective, so I'm going to just say it was. That's big time damage. So we get off Trick Room, which is massive. We keep our Arm Rouge, and we get rid of their T-Tar. That was actually a really good turn. That was actually a really good turn. I knew Arm Rouge would outspeed T-Tar, just not Miascarada. But now we're sitting here actually in a decent spot. Can't Sucker Punch me. I can Aura Spear the Miascarada if I want to. And Garchomp's going to fly out here. So I have what's going to deal with that Mimikyu if I want to. I could drop an Expanded Force, but I just think... Hmm. Would I rather just get after this Garchomp? I mean, Miascarada is a little annoying with like Sucker Punches and stuff. There's a chance that you could swap here as well. I'm going to go for Aura Spear. Helping Hand Aura Spear. I'm gonna look to KO Miascarada. 
Going straight helping hand or spear. There's a chance that they could protect, but I doubt they protect me Oscar out of it. We're gonna see a terror type. It's gonna be Chomp. It's gonna be Chompskies. It is Chomp. So Chomp's gonna get the Terra. Chomp's gonna go into straight steel. So that was just for like expanding force coverage. Could armor cannon that next turn. But I think he dumps on me. I think he really just takes care of me this turn. So upper hand's gonna fire. Look at KO Miyazaki Rada. This should with Helping Hand boost. And it does. Cool. I'm not sure if it would have without the Helping Hand boost, so I just really want to make sure. Because now Garchomp's Steel Terror. And what are you going for? Sword Stance. I mean, that's fine. I can Armor Cannon you down. I can Armor Cannon you down all day. So I can go for Helping Hand again, depending on who they bring out. But what's called can deal with that? No problem. My, uh... My Ursaluna. But Mercury's gonna come out here. I think 100% my play is just go Armor Cannon this slot. And they have no first turn priority, so I might as well just go for Helping Hand, Armor Cannon. So Helping Hand, Armor Cannon. As long as they don't protect, this should be pretty much the game, correct? And they do end up protecting. Smart call on their end. Should still have like one turn left in Trick Room, but he's probably gonna go for a foul play. Which uh, we should soak. Yeah, I was gonna say we're special attacking. Good news on our end, we're special attacking. My weak armor comes out here, which actually boosts my speed. Could get a little rough. Could get a little rough here. So I think we're, we're going to switch armor cannon. Or not help. Not armor cannon. Helping hand for follow me. Just to play it safe. Just to play it safe. So Buffets fly around. There's a chance they could go for double protect. There is definitely a chance of that. There is definitely a chance. But we got two turns left in Trick Room, which is plenty. Which is plenty. Now we'll just rock at armor cannon. And we'll go for follow me. Just because we got that speed boost. And I really don't want, like, Garchomp outspeeding me. So let's see. So follow me comes out here. You're outspeeding. Hold up. That means... That means I think Garchomp might be faster. This could get ugly. This could get real ugly. Hold up. Wait a minute. Give me a chance. Just give me a chance. EQ's fine. Yeah, this is getting real ugly. That weak armor really screwed me over there. So we have one turn left in Trick Room. We're sitting here. Obviously, Garchomp's probably just going to protect. Most likely, right? Most likely Garchomp protects. We got Mimikyu. We have Ursaluna. We don't have Terra. But I still have Disguise, which is good. I still have Disguise. Alright. So one turn left in Trick Room. I have to guess that he is Terrasalizing, right? Or not Terrasalizing, protecting Garchomp. And if he doesn't, I think just going into... Hyper Voice and Play Rough. Probably the play. I mean, if you protect, you protect, but... I'm gonna do this. I, I believe you should protect. I mean, one turn left in Trick Room, you're probably sitting here like, hey, I have to protect. Obviously, I could have went into Earth Power in that slot, but I'm gonna read the Protect. And make sure that this Murkrow dies out. If it doesn't protect, I still think we're sitting in a relatively decent position. And it doesn't protect, so Hyper Voice is gonna fly, do respectable damage on both sides. Foul Play is gonna launch, take off the Skies. And he's Sword Sands boosted. This, we might have lost this one. We should have just went Earth Power there. We should have just went Earth Power. We're going to lose this one. EQ's going to do too much damage. EQ's doing too much damage. Oh, no. Should have just Earth Powered. I don't know. I would have thought he would have protected, it, right? You would think. You would think. But no Protect comes out here. GG to our opponent. I guess I just, I just made the wrong call. Wow, that one hurts. That one hurts because, again, he's outspeeding me now. Unless Vacuum Wake can KO. I doubt it, but we're going to go for it regardless. We're going to go for it regardless. That's respectable damage, but not nearly enough that we need. EQ's going to fly. That's game, set, match. That one really hurts. Definitely should just attack him with Earth Power. I don't want to get things started. Let's go hop through a second match. Honestly, in that last match, we should have just play rough the Murkrow and Earth powered the Garchomp. That would have been the simple, easy play. That would have won us the game. But I was thinking the whole time Garchomp was going to protect. And honestly, I should have trusted that my Mimikyu's play rough would have just KO'd the Murkrow in the first place. But it is what it is. We're hopping into our second match. Looking to bounce back here. Going up against Gliscor. Super dope Pokemon with his Subi and Gudra. Tough, bulky Pokemon. They got Quillfish. His Subi and Quillfish, I should say. Um, who is that? That's Amoongus and then Dragapult and... Sableye. So I just think like Indeedee armors here work really well. So I'm going to end up leading both of them. I'm going to end up bringing in like Mimikyu and Mousehold could be good. Actually Mousehold, eh. A lot of ghost types on the field. We're going to go Dragonite instead. I really like Dragonite. It's 
especially with scale shot. It could do some nice damage. So I'm all about it. Load dice scale shot. Let's do it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Look for a little bounce back victory here in match number two, considering we definitely should have won that first match. Blunder play on my end. Blunder play on my end. But hey, dude, I wake up early in the morning to record. So I'm still a little tired. I I'm going to use that as my excuse. <laughs> but let's see what they end up leading here. I think like they got a pretty strong team. I think that uh, Quillfish does have Intimidate. I could be wrong. But they're going to end up going Goliath Squirt and Sableye. So, I mean, not a bad lead because Sableye is a little scary. I mean, Sableye can do, like, a lot of different things. But I like just going into potentially this Expanding Force kind of hit on the Goliath Squirt here. And do I try to pop a Trick Room? Probably not. I think I just follow me. I think I just follow me this play. Let's play it safe. Let's just... Keep our arm rouge on the field. This thing's gonna drop gravity. So gravity comes out of here. And what you got cooking here, Glyscore? What's what's going on with the gravity? What's going on with this whole gravity situation? Sand tombs gonna fly through here. Sand tombing. So you're just sand tombing around. Expanded force gonna launch, gonna do no damage into Sableye, but it's going to rip up into Glyscore. Some great damage into Glyscore. So sand tomb slowly chipping up. Kind of annoying, not gonna lie. <laughs> and this thing's gonna be toxic heal, so I could see it definitely like protecting this turn. Um, and I could rip an armor cannon into this slot with a helping hand. I do like that. I do like that. It's toxic heal. It wants its poison. I'm gonna read a protect. Reading protect didn't help us out last match, but hopefully, again, we're looking to bounce back. Hopefully, it's gonna help us out on this match. But yeah, look at Arm Rouge's, like, the eyebrow flames. They're, like, blue. It's a Witch All and Sable Blast. So who's taking this Helping Hand Armor Cannon? That's the real question. Gudra. Not bad. It's going to be neutral. And he ends up not protecting the Arm Rouge. Okay. I feel you. I understand. It happens. I know you do. Okay, so cool. I read the Protect. So Helping Hand Armor Cannon launching. Take this. How much damage are we doing? good damage that's good damage that's great damage that's great damage my defense drops and this thing's gonna get left there and he's gonna toxic kill up i think we just go for like helping hand expanded force at this point right is that our play is that our play i know it's not very effective into you i think i might rather just like follow me this shot I'm gonna follow me. So I'm gonna play it safe because I know Gliscor outspeeds, and you could have high horsepower, and you could just you could just send my armors home. Let's be honest here. I'm gonna end up protecting Gudra. That's 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 fine. That's fine. Go ahead, protect Gudra. Protect Gudra. Go for follow me this turn. I want to get rid of Gliscor. So Gliscor is gonna die out this turn. I'm gonna go for facade. That's looking scary, and I'm able to soak that pretty well. And he takes some rock helmet damage. Take that. Expanded Force gonna launch, gonna get blocked by the Gudra. We're gonna get rid of Gliscor, which is good. Now, Gliscor didn't really do too much, but it looked cool in the process, so I'll give it to him. Gliscor is such a cool Pokemon. I feel like you deserve props anytime you use Gliscor. It's just so dope. But Gliscor is actually probably not that bad in this format if used right. If you get off Toxic Heal and then you sit there with like, I don't know, like Swords Dance and you put all your EVs in like defense, defensive stats, it probably works really well. But Amoongus comes out here now, and you give me no reason not to go into Expanding Force here. You give me no reason, unless you're going to Thrastalize. I mean, there is a hot chance that you Thrastalize. Uh, I'm just going to go Helping Hand here. Helping Hand, Expanding Force, you could protect Amoongus here. Or you could Thrastalize. I feel like we're just sitting in such a good position right now. I feel like we are. We got great damage off onto uh, that Gudra, who's usually the biggest problem on the field. We have two physical attackers in the back end, so we might want to just target down this Gudra, to be honest with you guys. Targeting down this Gudra could be really good for us. But yeah, Al's going to come to Terror from Amoongus. Probably straight water, but still, we could do really good damage to it. No, it's going to be Gudra. Gudra's going straight water, so... I mean, we're now KOing it with this... With this move. With this expanding force, so... I don't know what our opponent's doing, but this works for me. This works for me. Help a hand flies here. Expanded Force gonna double KO, correct? I know Moongus ain't surviving this. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand that, Terra. I don't. I really don't. But hey, like I said, we're bouncing back in match number two. We'll take a victory.
we will take a victory all day. So we end up double KOing here. They're down to their last Pokemon. Pretty easy one for us. Not pretty, really easy. Really easy. Sableye is going to be their final Pokemon. I can just launch armor cannons for days. And thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Do I even go for follow me? I think we're just helping hand this. I think they cancel it. Yeah, they cancel match. One and one. Let's go hop into our third and final. Moving on to our third and final match. Going up against Tyranitar and King Gambit. Two dark type Pokemon, which they'll probably bring in here. Considering I have Expanded Force Arm Rouge. But uh, they also got Primarina, they got Volcarona, Rillaboom, and last but not least, Dragapult. Now, I could pop Trick Room. I could honestly just go with, like, Mimikyu here, turn one. So Mimikyu can rip. They have Rillaboom, and that makes me want to bring in Indeedee, but I don't want to lead it. I'd rather bring it in, like, as a back-end support Pokemon. So I'm going to go Mouse Hold. I am going to go Mimikyu. I am going to bring Indeedee, and I think Indeedee Arm Rouge could be good, or do I go Indeedee Ursaluna? I like Ursaluna, especially because if we get to the point where it's like, hey, I could pop Trick Room pretty easily here. I would want to do that because Ursula can pretty much clean up a lot of matches as long as it's going first. So, good play. But that last match, pretty easy for us. We're sitting 1-1, one one, looking for that winning record. We honestly should already have a winning record, but I'm not going to talk about it anymore. It's all good. King Gambit, Volcarona come out here for their lead. And I'm going into my boys. Got Mimikyu and Masshold. Honestly, Flame Body's looking scary. Let's be honest here. Flame Body looking terrifying. I could just go into a straight Ghost type if I want to. Um... Hmm. Might as well could just end up following me. Um, I think I'm just going to go Shadow Call here. Could go for the Pop Bomb. I'm just going to follow me here. I'm going to play this one simple. I'm just going to play this one simple. So follow me, you're going to come out here. I, I really want to Pop Bomb this Volcarona, but Flame Body. Stare me in the face. It's like, oh man. Look at Ugly real quick. Shadow Call is going to fly here. Do great damage. No Flame Body. Lose some Life Orb HP. Beautiful. No Flame Body and Will-O-Wisp is going to miss. Alright, I'll take that all day. Got that Cleave gonna launch. We should be able to soak this. Wow. Damage is absurd. Damage is absurd, and I can just Shadow Call this slot again. And if I want to, I'm just going to, like, say screw it and say Pop Bomb in this slot. Let's do it. Let's see how much damage we can do. Maybe 10 damage. <laughs> I'm so curious. Because I think he might just protect Volcarona. I don't want to make that hard read, though. I'd rather just KO the Volcarona. <laughs> I'm going for it. Pop Bomb into King Gambit. How much damage are we doing? Oh my lord. Not, not, not bad. Could be worse. <laughs> Yo, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's be honest. That's not bad. That's not bad damage. That's not bad damage. We'll say bye-bye to Volcarona. Get it on out of my face. And Chance already takes out my uh, mouse over here. Unless he wants to get rid of my disguise and have Pop Bomb chilling on the field again. Let's see. Now they want to get rid of my disguise. I'm, I'm all for that. I'm all for that. <laughs> Yo, so Pop Bomb, not bad. It's not bad. It didn't do bad damage. Damage, not bad at all. That's hilarious. So they're going to end up bringing out T-Tar here, which I can just play her off. Chances are they're going to Terrastalize. Um, I play here. I think I still just need to play her off this slot. I actually could just double down this King Gambit. Actually, we're going to play it up here, and we're just going to go for follow me. There's a chance he goes for Sucker Punch. Could swap it to Indeedee. But now we're just going to play this one safe. We're going to look to deal some damage into T-Tar. So follow me, going to come out here. No Terra. No Terra type? That's fine by me. Sucker Punch does fly. Good call for me not to go for Pop Bomb. Great call for me. Player off gonna launch and that does monstrous damage into T-Tar. So now T-Tar is forced to attack Mousehold. Hopefully you're not going for Rock Slide. You are going for Rock Slide. Smart play. And I'm gonna die out the Buffets. Man, I hate that. I hate when I die out the Sandstorm Buffets. I hate it. Not the worst, man. Cause you're like, oh I survived. And then you're like, oh no, now I'm dead. It's like, come on, man. Come on, man. So down goes those two Pokemon. I have Ursa Luna and Indeedy. Ursa Luna and Indeedy with Terra still. So I think smart play for me would just be Terrastalize. Terrastalize Indeedy and try to pop a Trick Room. Right? That's got to be my play. That's got to be my play. And I think we just attack with Ursa Luna. I really do. 
I really do, because I think they would want to attack the Ndidi regardless. I mean, I have to attack. I don't have Protect. It's actually good news. I could go for Vacuum Wave and see if that would KO. It, it would actually... No, I can't. First turn priority moves. Don't work. Would I rather KO here? Probably King Gambit. Let's do it. Let's do it. So no first turn priority allowed anymore. No Sucker Punches. No Vacuum Waves. Gotta always remember that with the terrains. I'm gonna try Slice and Didi. If I could pull off the Trick Room, I said it in the beginning. If I could pull off Trick Room late game slot, Cancel our Earth Saloon can clean up the mess. That's what I'm going for. This little Terra and Didi here. Earth Power is actually outspeeding. This is a fast Earth Saloon. We maybe shouldn't have Trick Room. Hold up. Let me see this thing speed. You are cooking. You are cooking. You are cooking. Hold up. This could be real bad for us. I mean, I got Follow Me, which actually works wonders, but Rock Slide can KO us. Oh, no. We might lose this one. <laughs> we might lose this one. How fast is our Saluna? This is what I get for only using, like, only using, like, a team once a day. 83. You're, yeah, you're not that fast. Special attacks through the roof. Rock Slide's gonna KO us. Rock Slide is legit gonna KO us. We're gonna lose Zor Hyper Voice. It's game. Oh my lord. This Ursulona is that fast. I could have just not pressed Trick Room. I'm so used to Ursula just being so slow. I feel like we could have had a 3-0 perfect record today. Like if I just don't pop Trick Room, I win that game. That's all I had to do was not pop Trick Room. So, a couple rough plays on our end, but still, I feel like we played good overall, right? I mean, that's what I get for not knowing the team, considering I play teams once every day. Half time, I don't even look at the EVs in depth. I just, like, check them out real quick. I'm like, all right, let's, let's roll. But, hey, hopefully you guys still did enjoy it. We're going to run this one. We go 1-2 and two for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. One and two losing record that easily could have been a 3-0 perfect record. That one's all me. It's definitely all me. But still, don't let that fool you. This team was absolutely amazing. Life for Mimic you doing monstrous amounts of damage. We made a bunch of right calls and just a few wrong calls, which made us get our losing record. But still, again, this team's phenomenal. If you guys want to rent it for yourself, about the code top right hand corner. If you guys did enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you guys spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.